Hey guys, um, today I'm going to actually make a rhinestone decal. So I'm actually going to use the hotfix stones like I did in my last video, but I'm going to turn them into an adhesive decal. So I have my design here. Um, if you need to know how to cut this or what this is, um, I walk through that process in my video with the rhinestone one color shirt. I've got my hotfix tape and then the rhinestone decal material. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in this Mickey head and I'm going to use I'm going to use this black one I think. So I've got the um, black diamond and these are SS10 stones. Go ahead and just pour, pour a, light on, a lot on there to help um, fill in those gaps. Then I used my little rhinestone brush I bought when I bought all my stuff. And just move them around, fill in all the holes. So then as you fill them in, you know, you can move, move the extra to the side. They can go back in whatever container or storage system or anything like that that you are using. Some of them don't want to come. So I can see some places that are missing. Okay, so now that we've got them all filled in, I'm going to go ahead and dump these rhinestones back into my little cups. These can be, you know, reused on another project. Nothing, nothing's happened with them yet. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and take um, my hot fix tape which it has, you know, the rough side on it and then the actual tape. So I'm going to go ahead, peel this up. And let's go ahead and place this down. Let's get all of our rhinestones picked up here. So now you could go ahead now and take this, um, press it onto a t-shirt, onto a bag, um, anything like that, whatever you want to press it onto. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and press it onto this rhinestone decal material. So this has an adhesive quality to it. Um, so this is going to actually turn it into an adhesive decal so I could stick it on like my laptop or I think I'm going to stick it on my car window actually. So 
So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. So I'm gonna go ahead, make sure this peels up. I'm gonna stick it back on its um, hot fix tape. So that way I can trim it up a little bit. Just make sure we got all these rhinestones. We missed a couple there. Why don't you want to go? There we go. So give it a good, you know, good rub. Make sure you get all the stones picked up. Okay. I'm gonna go twist it. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stick it back on the hot fix tape here. And I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and just trim this up a little bit. That way there's not a lot of extra of this hot fix tape. Because I want my sticky um, transfer, rhinestone transfer material to be bigger. So now this is the rhinestone decal material. You can see this side is more um, matte finish compared to this side that's really shiny. So we want to press it onto this shiny side. This is going to be our carrier sheet, this side. And I was also showing this side makes noise, whereas this side doesn't. And this side doesn't. So we want to press it onto the shiny side or the side that doesn't make the noise. So we're gonna go ahead, put our little decal here onto the shiny side. And then we'll go ahead and cover it with the Teflon sheet and we'll go ahead and press it. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over to my heat press that's warming up. And we'll get this pressed and I'll show you how it looks. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this pressed to turn it into the decal. So what I have is one of my Teflon sheets. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down. So now we have our rhinestones, and remember they are on they are on that shiny side of our there you go rhinestone uh, material. So the that side makes noise. They are on the side that doesn't. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to press this upside down. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this here. We're going to press this upside down and then cover it with this side. And then this is, uh, my heat press is set to 330 and I'm going to press this for about 10 seconds just on medium pressure. It's a little bit too late. Just for 10 seconds here, get this pressed. I think it may have needed a little more pressure than that. Okay, so let me peel this up. So what we're looking for here is that the adhesive has gone up around the rhinestones. So we want it to, and you will see it better in person. Um, let me see. So that adhesive starts to form itself around these rhinestones here. So I'm actually going to press this again with a little more pressure. You can see it a lot better in person, but it starts to like encase the bottom part of that rhinestone. I had this set for onesies, so it was um, pretty low pressure here. There we go. Just give it a couple more seconds um, since I had to play with the pressure here a little bit. for a second. Sucker's hot. Alright. 
that looks good now. So I don't know, you can kind of see it better now. It's almost like that adhesive melts and forms itself around it. So let me grab my scissors. So I'm just gonna trim this up um, around our, our little image here. Cause what this is doing is just um, turning this whole backing into a solid piece of adhesive. So the closer we can trim it to our image you know, it's clear, so you're not gonna see it so much be the problem, you know, but if you just have a bunch of extra, we just wanna trim this up the best that we can. So now what you can go ahead and do with this is um, stick this on anything. It'll have a backer to it, you know, like a sticker. Um, I think I'm actually gonna put this on the back window of my car, but you could stick it on you know, decorate your heat press up, you know, decorate your Cricut or your Silhouette, whatever machine you have. Um, stick it on, a, like, your laptop. So it turns these um, hot fix rhinestones into this adhesive decal for us. But I think this Mickey belongs on the back of my car. So there we have it. Now you have your adhesive. So you can go ahead and just peel off this backer like you would um, any other sticker or decal and apply it to whatever you want. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Um, I will be including more rhinestone videos, but if you have any questions on how the template was cut, go ahead and check out my first video where I did the one color rhinestone t-shirt. And let me know any questions in regards to these or that. Have a good day.